All right, so for this one, for 84, so the little, this one has a few weird things. Uh, write a program that asks the user for two numbers. Using a for loop, add all of the numbers from the first to the second. So the order does make a difference. Um, and so we're going to ask the user for two numbers and then using a for loop, uh, add the numbers from the first to the second. So first thing is let's I'll create one called first value, read int. I want to save it as an integer. Uh, the first value they're going to give me. <clears throat> the first number, okay? Uh, and then the end value is going to be read int end value. So I have a first value, then I have an end value. The first number they give me, then the second number. Um, and then I'm going to create a sum and just leave this equal to zero because this will be filled out down here. But I have to create the variable uh, in order for me to add something to it. So I just went up here and said sum equals zero because I haven't added anything yet. And this number will, it will be changed because I'm letting it be a let uh, and not a const. So for now, here's the difference. I want to use a for loop at all the numbers from the first to the second. So for example, if the first number is six, second number is eight, then it would add six plus seven plus eight. So let's go ahead and just use that as our guide. So um, for the uh, let i, the counter, let i equal the first value that I'm going to get from them. Because again, I want to have to know the first number, then I have to know the second number and add everything in between. So uh, let i, the counter is going to equal the first value they get. So if I, if they start at seven, the, the counter is going to start at seven. If they, get, if they give one, it's going to start at one. Uh, so let i equal the first value they get. And as long as the counter is less than the end value that they give, which would be an eight, I want you to take the sum. And again, this could be written sum equals sum plus I. Okay, so as of now, it's going to go, let's go over and let's do this first one. And let's do a six and do a seven. So the first value was a six. So let I equal first value. So I starts at six. I is less than seven. So you're going to take the sum, which is zero. Sum equals zero plus one. Okay. So, sorry, I'm losing my mind. Zero, sum plus I, I'm losing my mind. So zero equals zero plus six, which is why we got six right here. Okay. And then it wants us to add one to it. So our first number was six, zero equals zero plus six. And then we're going to go through and we're going to do it again. Now, I now equals seven because that's going to be the next one that they gave us. So set I equals seven. I is less than eight. So we're going to go sum equals sum plus I. So it's going to be six equals six plus one gives you seven. OK, and since we did first value six and in value seven, we then said the sum is and then I added this value here. Which will be pulled from right here because I'm updating it right here again, this um, actually. This whole this whole thing's a function, but I would put this outside of a function if I wanted it to work. Let's get rid of this. Let's do this. So that way it's not a function. So let's go here and notice the sum is out of this for loop. So therefore it can work because it's, uh, oops, let me get rid of that extra there. There we go. <clears throat> so first value four, eight, and then it will go all of them to be 30. But here, does it ask us which ones it wants us to do? Uh, missing semicolon on line three. Yeah, there you go. So that's basically it. We created our first value, our second value here. Instead of just using uh, zeros, we're letting the I be the first value that created, which is the number six. And then as long as it's under the last value, you're going to take that number, um, add them together, and then move one. So again, maybe sum equals sum plus I, or we could just do sum plus equals I, whichever one floats your boat. So again, Look at this if you need to, um, hopefully makes sense.